Alright, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading much, but as you can all tell, things are a bit hectic at the moment. Now, what I'm going to show you is obviously going to be from the demonstrations happening in the US right now. Now, this here, this picture is a cop car in Boston. Obviously, it is on fire. Now, I'm going to read you some quotes from some news outlets. This first one is the Berkeley Beacon. Around 10.30 p.m., a police cruiser was set on fire near the Park Street Church. And it goes on to mention more about protesters being hit by a car. Here's a quote from the Patriot Ledger. Boston, a Sunday afternoon of mostly peaceful protests, nightfall, protesters clash with officers, yada yada, and lighting a police vehicle on fire. All right, here's the next quote. And this one is the New York Times. In Boston, a police SUV was set ablaze near the State House, sending a column of black smoke after a large group of protesters had mostly dispersed. All right, they really have made it seem like there was only the one, and this must be the one. And here's a map of the two locations that they've mentioned. All right, now we've got all that out of the way. Watch this. The police are, the police are fucking beating up their own car right now. They're going to probably blame it on the protesters. They're beating up their own car as we speak right now. Guys, they are beating up. Guys, they are fucking. Look at that shit. Yeah, get on the car. Look at that yeah. shit. Belts on the hood, Look at that fucker. shit. The cops, the cops are breaking their own car, and they're gonna blame it on the protesters. Oh yay! Woo! We are here. We were here in the name of peace. The cops are breaking their own car, and they're gonna blame it on the protesters. And they and they put and they put fuck twelve on it. The police are committing a crime right now. They have dogs at the ready. The cops are breaking the window to their car. People were commenting trying to say that they were doing that to the windscreen so they could drive it off. It's like, okay, why'd they spray paint the car then? All right, as you can see, I actually got on Google Maps and went to this street. See, they're the same shops, the same restaurants that were in that person's video. If we continue down the street just for a couple of blocks, not even, started at 136 and we're going to stop at 83. And did you take note of which way the car was facing? And would you look at that? I'm calling you out, Boston police. You burnt that car. You burnt your own car. Protesters didn't do it. The police did it. All right, and usually I will give credit for other people's footage but in this particular circumstance I'm not going to to keep that person safe um if you want more on what I mean by that check out the latest episode of that podcast I'm doing because ABC told me not to don't start a podcast and uh, yeah most latest episode of that is ACAB can be found at soundcloud.com slash don't start a podcast ACAB for that particular episode and together it will be what do you mean don't start a podcast <laughs> and yeah other than fully supporting black lives matter and also wanting justice for george floyd i feel like i feel able to call out the boston police because i'm in the safety of australia and yeah keep that in mind you've been called out by someone in australia but yeah straight up calling them out boston police burnt their cop car wasn't the protesters thank you i should have more videos up for you guys soon